Okay, now I've got the drum where the, the rear band runs on. That one's also got a bush on it, in it there. You can see that. Um, so I'm going to put that on backwards. And we can see how much play there is in there. There is a little bit of slop in there. Um, so we're going to replace that one. Um, this drum again, we're going to have a look. There are no hard spots um, on it. I'm still going to polish it up a bit um, just to make it nice and smooth and level. Um, also going to take a, a note of all those teeth on that annulus there. Um, that's the one that runs on the planetary. Um, just make sure there's no chips or any excessive wear marks on it. This is the output shaft and the planetary gear. You can see the gears there spin around like so. There is a little thrust washer in there. Um, we can undo these three bolts here and take that out um, and just see quite often these pins will be worn on just one side. Um, the problem is you can't spin these around 180 degrees because they've actually got a slot in there that um, where this plate is actually holding it so they don't come out. Um, quite often you can just check it like so if there's any play. They do have to have some end play there. Um, if they've got a bearing here or a skid plate you just um, or a thrust washer just inspect those for wear there also is a little shim there um, don't don't lose it and also just so you know where it is there we go so we're gonna just pop these out and pull these gears out there are little rollers in there that you'll need to repack before you can get the gears back in there. Um, if it's a cold day you can just use Vaseline or um, petroleum jelly. Uh, if it's a warmer day we actually use the thicker uh, water pump grease. Um, that'll just dissolve, it'll just get munched up in the gears when it starts running so you don't have to worry about um, it getting stuck anywhere or um, blocking up a port or anything like that. But I'm going to um, just pop this out, just undo it with my special screwdriver and just inspect these pins for wear. Alright, we're going to, I've just loosened all these with our special screwdriver. Just pulled the planetary gear apart uh, so we can get that bush out. Uh, we've also noticed these pins are a little bit worn. You can see the wear marks there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Uh, these skid plates that go on the end, end of the bearings, uh, they're a bit worn as well. Uh, but what we can do, you don't need to replace these. You can just flip them around 180 degrees. Um, the other side sits up against the, the housing. The sun gear it's a little bit worn on one side there, there's a little step there, but we're going to we notice that it doesn't wear on one side at all. Uh, there must be more pressure on this side, so we're just going to flip that one over 180 degrees. All the teeth seem okay in it. And the thrust washer, uh, that's got a little step in it, if you can see that on the camera. Uh, so it's worn a little bit, so we'll replace that thrust washer as well. Okay, we've used our tap that we've made out of a 14mm uh, bolt 
and use the slide hammer and just pulled it out. And you can see there's the bush there. Now I've partially put back the planter tree and we're just going to knock this new new bush in. We've got, got our little driver. You can see that piece interchangeable. And we're just going to knock it back in just so it's level with it. Knockometer. Make sure it's going in nice and evenly. You can see the new pin in there, uh, the new bush in there now. And try the shaft where it goes in there. That's much better. Now yeah, just using a bit of water pump, grease, we've smeared it in there and now we're just putting the rollers back. You'll get 20, 20 rollers a side. There we go, nicely packed. You can try it on the rock, on the pin. Um, just probably push it from the inside out if you only got one side. Otherwise, it'll push all the rollers down. So and that's nice. Now we put the spacer in, the rollers are in on one side. Put a bit of grease right around. Don't need a real lot, need a bit, but not too much. And we're just going to repack the other side, same as the other one. There we go, both sides are repacked with the rollers. Make sure there's no gaps in there. You might have to just also press them down a little bit with the screwdriver just so they fall into place. And then try it on the pin. There you go, that looks good. Uh, when you're putting these back together, just try and align that slot so you can put it in easier afterwards. And also don't forget to put your new thrust washer in there. And don't forget the sun gear. And just knock this last pin in and we can put the plate back on. Now if this plate won't go back on easily, you can just... Uh, Get a little punch that'll fit inside that slot and just knock it around a little bit till it does. But we did this one pretty good, so let's see, it's, it's almost in line with the hole. So we'll just tap that a bit with the punch there till we get it down, and then we'll just knock those pins right down just so they're touching that plate. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on those bolts there just to make sure they don't come loose. There we have it. Uh, reconditioned planetary. Place the needle rollers in there. Place the bush and the little thrust washer there. We've polished it all up nicely and everything seems to be good. We've Loctited these I've had, in the past I've had one of these come come loose and it can do a bit of damage uh, well come away out uh, when it's floating around in there 
um, we just double check make sure those gears are, oh, the, the gear in there will be um, hitting on there but if we hold it upright like so they should just spin nice and freely I've also tapped these pins down just so they're touching the, the plate there um, and there you go Now I'm just going to change the uh, the bush in the case there. We've got this special, it's just like a, a long screwdriver and we've just sort of half rounded, grinded it on the end and added another little bit on there just so we can tap it, just so it's a bit longer. Um, and we're just going to slowly go around, um, tap, it, tap it out because um, you can't get a a driver in there and you can't machine it out in the lathe so you've got to tap it out like that um, when you're doing that also uh, that's why we've um, ground this off so it doesn't um, have a sharp edge to damage the case so we're just going to tap that out now Try and keep the angle fairly straight on the on that driver, just so it doesn't dig into the case by accident. And you'll feel the bush; it'll tighten up if you're going too far on one side. And there we go; it's nearly out now. Now we've got the old bush. Um, it's been a bit damaged so you can't see how how worn it is um, but you can't really test them like that because what happens when when you drive them in um, they actually compress a little bit from the outside um, so sometimes these bushes are a little bit out around or whatever but as you press them in they'll uh, get their proper shape and there's the new bush so you can see there's a little bit of wear there but you'll find after we, um, yeah, that's the old one, and that's the new one. Um, it'll it'll sort of press in a little bit. Another thing, um, I put this little notch um, on the bottom side of the case, so you hopefully can get a little bit of splashing in there, um, and you'll get a bead of oil there to lubricate that bush. Um, this one, the original bush, uh, you can see that oil would go right around. Yeah, there's two little um, splashing points. So, I don't know which one would be better, the one with the bigger lubricating uh, groove or the one that's just lubricated on one side. Anyway, put that in now. Okay, so we've got the bottom side of the case over here. So you can see where that little lubricating groove is. I'm just going to put a little bit to the side, like that, just so that, that bit's sitting on the bottom. So it's always going to have a little splash there and have a little puddle of... If you put it right on the bottom, it's always going to be draining out. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to put it like that, like so. I'm going to grab our little driver here. Now they do have a little chamfer on there, but I'm going to put a... We've got this uh, tool steel drift just to get it started. And I can still use that on there. And we can also see that it's not lined up, so we're just going to get that started there. Probably could push it all the way in, but what if it's going in a little bit tight, it can end up um, bending that bush. So we'll use a proper driver.
and because it's hard to knock back out uh, we're just going to do a little bit and then check it a little bit check it a little bit check it now I'm not going to go down to the to the bottom of that chamfer like it was I'm going to just go pretty much square with that because that drum doesn't actually go in there so you want to have it um, as far as you can over this way towards the front of the vehicle at the rear end you've got um, the extension housing bush supporting the, the rear end of that shaft so I'm just going to put this on there and just tap around just make sure it's nice and flat Tiny bit, tiny bit more, just for good luck. There we go. Now on the rear drum, I'm just going to polish this up on the lathe. And we're going to replace that bush there. That's the one that sits on the planetary there. So if we put that on backwards, you can see there is a bit of slop there. We'll just replace that bush as well while we're here. Uh, basically the way it works, the smaller the bush, the tighter it can be. The bigger the bush, it's got to have a little bit of play. So, I think usually around 5 thou clearance is pretty good. Um, that allows for heat um, expansion so it won't seize on there. So, I'll just go give this a bit of a linish on the lathe and then we can replace this push. Alright, I'm going to polish this up here. We're also going to, I'll just take that thrust washer off so it doesn't fly off and hit me. Uh, I'm going to polish that surface up. That's where the uh, that case bush is, where, what we just replaced. So we want to make sure that's nice and smooth um, and then later we'll knock that bush out. That's beautiful, nice mirror finish there. Okay, now these these bushes in there, the original, well, the one that was in it, it's been it has been reconditioned a couple of times, but this one's a bronze one, which I've had in there, and this is the white metal one. So we just basically use that as a guide to see which uh, driver we need, and we'll knock that out and. You can see uh, because the the planetary comes in this side, um, you probably want it want the bush more 
to this um, side towards the uh, the planetary. That way it's sitting as close as it can be to the heavier side of the planetary for support. Um, if it's over here then you know that you can get that counterbalance effect um, and it can wear um, unevenly or prematurely on on that bush. So you always want to try and get it as far as you can uh, or as close as you can to the heavier part that's running on the bush. I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to basically just smack it out of there. There we have it, the old bush. It has got a few sharp edges. Looks like someone's actually glued this one in there with something. Um, something was going on, so they've scored it just so it stays in there a bit tighter. Now, I'm not sure why that uh, bush is so rough on the inside. It's nice and smooth in here. Uh, anyway, we're going to put the new bush in now, a white metal bush. And we're going to tap it in slowly, try and get it started nice and evenly. I'm going to go a little bit more than just when it's flat there, just so it's as close as we can get it to the planetary. It's not going to go down to that chamfer. So, there we go. New bush in. Now uh, we'll put the lubricating marks towards the rear pump. So hopefully that will lubricate that in there a bit better. And that one's done as well. And we're just going to try see what this one looks like on the planetary gear. Oh yeah, that's much better. There we go. Beautiful. And you can actually see how much further I've put it towards the planetary, if you can see that. It was sort of probably about halfway there before. So it'll support the, the planetary gear a lot better. Okay, we'll just put a bit of, we'll put this thrust wash back on so we don't forget it. Um, we just look for little tell marks to see how it was sitting so we can flip it over and it looks like it was sitting that way we can see that little mark there where that groove is in on the inside there next to the neck so we'll put that the opposite way now just put a bit of vaseline or petroleum jelly it's getting warm here so it's not as solid as it was when it was winter there we go there's another part that's ready to go into the bits that are ready for assembly <laughs> 